Charlize Theron appears to be just as fearless in real life as she is on screen, but only very few people know of the childhood trauma that she had to overcome and the silent untold battles she had to fight in Hollywood before she became anything close to who we know today. In fact, she could have lost her life at the hands of her father before her career even started. It's a story not many know about her, but in this video, we'll take a deep dive into that and other little-known facts about the life of Charlize Theron while also showing you some of her rare photos. Charlize Theron, the strong and talented actress, captivated the world with her Oscar-winning performance as serial killer Aileen Warnos in the movie Monster. This remarkable achievement showcased her exceptional acting prowess, proving her brilliance both on and off the camera. Around the same time, she also starred in the powerful film Bombshell alongside Nicole Kidman and Margot Robbie, portraying a fearless character in a story about sexual harassment at Fox News. However, behind her current life of enviable success, Charlize Theron has faced tremendous challenges which she candidly discussed in an interview with National Public Radio. Her childhood was far from idyllic, plagued by health issues and an unhealthy family environment. As a child, Charlize suffered from jaundice, a condition that left her without teeth until the age of 11. Extensive antibiotic treatments had deteriorated her teeth to the point that they had to be removed. Despite this physical hardship, it was not the most challenging obstacle she had to overcome. In fact, it was very far from it. Charlize recalls her father, Charles Jacobus Theron, as an alcoholic who was verbally abusive. Growing up, she lived with the constant unpredictability of her father's behavior, unsure of what each day would bring. The atmosphere at home felt hopeless as everyone seemed trapped in the cycle of her father's drinking. One night in June 1991, the Theron household became a scene straight out of a horror movie. Charlize's aunt called to warn them that her father, Charles, was acting strangely and she sensed something terrible was about to happen. Her premonition proved true as he arrived home after a night of heavy drinking, consumed by agitation. Drunk and miserably violent, Charles approached the house with a gun. Charlize, fearing the worst, found herself and her mother, Gerda, huddled against her locked bedroom door, desperately trying to keep her father out. Their lives hung in the balance as he relentlessly tried to break through, threatening to kill them both. In a harrowing twist of faith, Charles took a step back and fired three shots through the door. Miraculously, none of the bullets struck Charlize or her mother. In a moment of self-defense, Gerda, Charlize's mother, courageously retrieved her own gun and fatally shot Charles, ending the threat they had endured for far too long. Gerda's actions were justified as she protected herself and her daughter, and she faced no legal repercussions. Reflecting on the traumatic event, Charlize admits that she would have done the same if faced with a similar situation to safeguard her own child. The tragic event of the death of Charlize's father haunted her, leading her to undergo therapy. However, the wounds were reopened when Chris Karsten, an author, released a book called Killer Women, Fatal South African Females, which detailed her mother's case. Charlize was infuriated by the book's contents, especially with the fact that the author questioned her mother's motive for killing her husband in his book, suspecting that Gerda wasn't entirely truthful while telling the story. The interviews with family members who had promised to keep quiet added fuel to the fire, especially when her aunt, Elsa Milan, denied her father's alcoholism. Despite the turmoil, Gerda encouraged Charlize to pursue her dreams, which she did. At the age of 16, she won a modeling contest and traveled to Milan to kickstart her career. Dancing held her true passion, but modeling became a means to an end. After a year of struggling and living in a friend's basement apartment without windows, Charlize's knees failed her, shattering her dream. The realization that she couldn't dance anymore plunged her into a deep depression. Yet again, Gerda stood by her daughter, urging her not to give up. She suggested another path. Acting Intrigued by the idea, Charlize decided to give it a try. Gerda bought Charlize a one-way plane ticket to Hollywood, hoping it would be the start of something amazing. However, Charlize's journey was far from glamorous. She arrived in Hollywood with little money and had to relearn the English language. Her South African accent proved to be a major obstacle, constantly hindering her chances of landing movie roles. Determined to succeed, she took acting lessons and tirelessly worked to sound more like an American. It was a challenging time for Charlize, living in poverty and relying on her mother's support. In 1995, she landed her first role in the movie, Children of the Corn 3, 
urban harvest. However, before that breakthrough, she faced a distressing encounter. A famous director invited her to audition at his home only to reveal his ulterior motives. Disgusted, Cholise promptly apologized and left, haunted by self-blame, for years. Nevertheless, this experience toughened her resolve. One day, while struggling to cash her mother's check at a bank, Charlize found herself in a heated argument with a stubborn bank teller. Desperate and fearing homelessness, she stood her ground, determined to secure the money she needed. Little did she know, fate had a surprise in store for her. Behind her in line was a talent manager named John Crosby, who was captivated by Charlize's passion and energy. He handed her his business card and introduced her to casting agents who could help kickstart her career. Charlize's breakthrough came with her first speaking role in a crime film called Two Days in the Valley. However, her stunning beauty became a double-edged sword. She was constantly offered roles as a mindless, sexy woman, but Charlize refused to be typecast. She yearned for meaningful and substantial characters that would showcase her talent. Her big break finally came when the legendary Tom Hanks cast her in his musical comedy, That Thing You Do. It was a dream come true for Charlize, who had admired Hanks since she was young. This opportunity gave her the confidence and credibility she needed. Soon, she found herself starring in acclaimed movies like The Devil's Advocate, Mighty Joe Young, and The Cider House Rules. In 2003, international recognition arrived with the Italian job, where she starred alongside Mark Wahlberg. However, it was her transformative role as Aileen Wuornos in Monster that truly defined her career. Charlize's outstanding performance earned her critical acclaim and a well-deserved Academy Award. However, behind the scenes, life wasn't always easy for the accomplished actress. Charlize's acting career demanded physical transformations, including fluctuating weight gain and loss. In fact, she opened up about her struggles with obsessive compulsive disorder, which added another layer of challenges to her already demanding life. A harrowing incident during the filming of Aeon Flux almost left her paralyzed when a stunt went awry, damaging a disc close to her spinal cord, forcing her to wear a neck brace for a month. In another movie, The Road, she suffered a rupture in her vocal cords while filming a birth scene. But that's not the only thing she had to deal with. In 2012, she adopted her first child, Jackson, but her engagement with Sean Penn ended shortly after, leaving her to embrace single motherhood. She faced emotional turmoil during the adoption process and it took a toll, and it took a toll on her mental well-being, becoming one of the lowest points in her life. But despite the hardships, Charlize found joy in becoming a mother and determined to expand her family. She adopted a second child named August a few months later. Charlize's journey to success was filled with obstacles, setbacks, and personal struggles. But her unwavering determination, talent, and the support of her loved ones propelled her forward. From her humble beginnings in South Africa to her rise as one of Hollywood's most acclaimed actresses, Charlize Theron's story is a testament of the resilience of the human spirit. Despite enduring a tumultuous journey, Charlize Theron has finally found peace. Her illustrious career continues to flourish, earning her consecutive Golden Globe nominations for her exceptional performances in Tully and Bombshell. She maintains a close bond with her mother and they now share the responsibility of raising her beloved adopted children. In an interview with Elle, she expressed the profound significance of having a steadfast partner in her life, emphasizing their shared adventures. Now in her 40s, Charlize unabashedly embraces this stage of life, referring to it as her personal Goldilocks moment. Delving into her past, we find a tale of resilience and triumph. Battling the demons of an abusive father, she witnessed her mother courageously defending herself, forever altering their lives. An injury dashed her childhood aspirations, only to be replaced by destitution and typecasting. Refusing to be silenced, she persevered through the painstaking process of relearning how to communicate. The arduous journey of adoption further tested her strength, both physically and mentally. However, the present brings solace a time when Charlize's existence seems harmonious. A testament to her indomitable spirit, she has risen above her tumultuous past and now revels in a life that feels just right. Despite the obstacles she faced, Charlize's determination propelled her forward. Her journey was one of resilience, supported by her mother's unwavering encouragement. From the depths of depression to the heights of Hollywood, she emerged as a force to be reckoned with, never allowing adversity to crush her spirit. 
If you enjoyed this video, there's a good chance you'll also enjoy the one showing on your screen right now. Click enjoy and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you on the next one.